Clippers vs. Lakers, new NBA 2K21 reaction video. Let's get to it. Greetings from 2K Sports. Welcome to our Wednesday night coverage of Crack the NBA. Alongside Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce on the sidelines. Hey, Allie. Lou Williams is the all-time leader in bench scoring. He's a pick-your-poison threat. He can pass, score at all three levels, and has a knack for getting Updated to the line. Losses. He said, quote, I don't make a decision until I see fit. That's why I'm so effective. My mind isn't predetermined. Guys, he keeps him guessing. He's just a walking bucket in the alley. Thanks a lot for that. Boy, no shortage of athleticism on display tonight. Grant, you'd know a little something about athleticism. Well, look, the bottom line is, if you have the athleticism in today's game, where speed and pace is so it's important, really and really you've really taken the really physicality really out of the game, I believe it gives you an advantage on both ends of the floor. If you're an offensive player who's skilled with the athleticism, you have a chance to be dominant. And then also defensively. The big thing I've noticed be a rim protector, is the eye ball defender. Of the so the athletic uh, component to it is certainly an ingredient NBA for success in today's game. So here's the Clippers starting group. Beverly and George make up the backcourt. Kawhi and Morris in at the forward slots. And it's Ibaka in at the center position, locking down the middle. And for the Lakers, LeBron <laughs> is the three with Davis in at the four. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Contavious Caldwell Pope. And it's Harold in at the center That's position. Right, she's knocks down the triple. <laughs> now, Paul George is a phenomenal catch and shoot guy. Measures the shot before receiving the pass. It's hard to guard. Outside Davis. It's hard to play defense. A three. Especially against the Bruins. Oh, good work defensively by Morris. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Is Beverly. Beverly. Rebound oh, by Beverly. the Lakers. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Oh. Shots good by Schroeder. Listen, we know that LeBron James can score at will, but he is phenomenal at hitting his guys with perfectly placed passes. Now here's Beverly. Up top, Morris. Pass to Ibaka. Leonard on the wing. Clock at six. Ibaka finds George. It's good with time running down on the shot clock. George has got five now. When near so the bucket, Paul Fire George knows match. what to do. This guy has such a nuanced understanding of the offense. And Kawhi Leonard gets a whistle that time. That's his first foul. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Early in a the game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. I wonder how much mobile paid to get that. Here's Davis. James, outside. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. What? into this first quarter. Lock him up. Clock at six. Lock him up. Just like, on LeBron just like James. Toronto. That's his first foul. Yeah, yeah. And just a great job of getting there first. Battle of the contest. Team. The Clippers have gone two of three to get this one they going. They put you right in like a court side. It's like you're at a court side. Game. George outside. It's got a little bit of NBA live feel to it. From ten feet oh, away. That's terrible. That shot off. Now the Lakers take it the other way. Yeah. Oh, George with a steal. Lays it up and banks it in. Seven points in the game. The Lakers have gone one of three from the floor. You know, I think most people consider Paul George to be an L.A. guy. But actually, he grew up in a very small town, Palmdale. It's a Come on, more. George. Go to the basket, dude. time in the gym. Those were oh, the big God. aspects of his upbringing. Morris can't hit. Yeah, we're not used to seeing him get bottled up like that. Wow. Miss James on the wing. No. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. And 
and that's good. His first bucket of the game. We are talking about a very solid passer at his position. Schroeder identifying an open teammate. Doris oh. growing up in Palmdale, Paul George may be overlooked as a high schooler. Yeah, what? no doubt, because he was outside the bright lights awesome, of the man. big city. Can't and to this life. day, he wants to make sure his community is no. left behind. He goes back, he organizes fishing tournaments, fundraisers to refurbish parks and gyms, and bringing after-school programming to Palmdale. I love it. Here's Beverly, after the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. Here's George, up and in with the jumper near the hoop. George has got nine points. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. Pass to James. Paul George pulls it in. Listen, he can make that shot right there, but I do know they have other options they can go to. Oh, and there's another one for the Clippers. Oh, That's not an easy play. Paul George is an extraordinary player. He keeps his eye on the bucket at all times. Here's James. To Harold. Get it's called well poke. George defending. No. Down to five on the shot clock. And called well poke. I, it's hard to go. switch on the Terrific design and I switch and I try leading to... to an opportunity right at the rim. Pick up the slack and cover the guy. He's always late. Merry Christmas. And Juan and uh, Sam My rule is anybody below 80 is coming out. Unless our bench is people who can understand. They don't have another pinker? Oh no. Wait, they fit a pinker. They are fitting a pinker. And a new group getting ready for the Lakers. Gasol's checked in for Harold. Kuzma comes in for LeBron. Matthews, he's checked in for Caldwell Pope. And it's Caruso in for Schroeder. It's now an opportunity to take a break and talk about their strategy moving forward. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which Let's kind go. of adjustment he makes here. Now, here's Williams. <laughs> Fires in the triple. Boy, you have to ask yourself, what exactly are you going to concede? Lou Williams in the pull-up game? My goodness. Ooh, he's outside of the bubble in the pull-up game. Now, here's Davis. Let's go. Oh, great D that time for the Lakers, and you don't have a strong the inside in the so good. Outside, Williams. The three ball. I should be shooting threes. Rebounded by the Lakers. 103 left in the opening quarter. Wow. This hole. And no good. Hey, hey, hey. So the Clippers will take it the other way. Oh, they got a Zubak. Williams up top, checked by Davis, pass to Zubac. Zubac. Come on, get him. Up and over Gasol. Get him. Pulled the shot there we go. Left. The bounce goes his way, though. Well, defending him inside is never an easy job. A little reminder of that right there. Davis with a screen on Williams. I feel like I'm at a good side. Outside. Like Just chilling at the Stavis area. Davis down low, Jack Robinson, and again, no good by the Lakers. This has not been a good period for this guy. Addison not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. Two seconds separating oh. the shot clock and the game clock. Williams misses. Who's the green? Oh, they got, they got hit the two. 
big, the big uh, so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's Davis. That's short off the rim. That's a, a big test of the shot. A big kick off the marker. There's an inside presence in the league. The end of the first quarter. Clippers ahead, leading by eight. We've got more in store for you right after this. Animations are smooth, they're seamless. It's good stuff. The next consoles are going to be really hard to target. And Something catching up with Luke Kennard earlier, he discussed what it takes for young players to acclimate themselves to the NBA. You know, this game, you know, it's, it's a physical game, obviously, but you know, a lot of it is mental. Um, like so, you know, just, just you know, making sure uh, it's like you're just thinking while you're out there is you know, one of the big things for me. Uh, one, one of the things I've kind of learned since I've been in the, in the league. And it takes time mentally for the game to slow down. It really does. And this is why most championship teams are late with seasoned veterans. You can't rush experience. It happens at its own pace. You know why is? And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through ice one man. quarter of action like so man. far. And before we move on, what do you think about what we've seen from the Clippers? It's simple. The main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense. I think across the board, a number of guys who've done a great job guarding multiple positions. LeBron James out there with Kyle Kuzma. Then there's Marcus Gasol. Then it's what Dennis Schroeder. And of it's shoot? Caldwell Pope. Case and it's the two. Like That's case who's case in the game for the Lakers. Whereas anybody remember the case Whereas you stayed all four years in college. That's a rarity now. What were some of the pros and cons were, of that popular for like, you know, that was a great decision. Maybe 2000, maybe 2000, they were like super popular. But nowadays, it almost penalized at times for staying for so long. No. Possibly. Want to get into the league. He just slithers through like a snake. Coaches, scores everything. Uh, for me, it was great. The you gotta give us a change. Game. Uh, you know, game. Game. Can't Players, stop him. Uh, more skill. It is. So the environment that we're in here now in the NBA. Well, Lou Williams understands how to put defenders at a disadvantage. Supercharged. He's got a legend. Gets himself to free throw line. about the fact that because he's come off the bench most of his career, it has probably extended and it's lengthened that career. career. Interesting it's stuff. It's the Lakers the making a switch here. Harrell's checked in. He hits the Green second from the line. I like to see. The Lakers shooting only 42%. Yeah, we got we James have the steel iron clip curtain. Outside Schroeder. Get him. Lock it down. Williams grabs the board. Lock it down. Let's and go. For the Clippers, they're shooting 53%. So we got, oh, we got the mismatch we had in the first quarter. You want to go to him? Should we go to Morris? To oh, he's getting three seconds. Get out of there, dude. Here's Morris. Get him. Morris. Training for the other, the other team, dude. Now, here is James. Guard it closely. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. James has got four points this quarter. James has gone three of four here from the field. Right. Let's check in with our let's reporter, go, go Allie LaForce. It's well known. Patrick Beverly is a gamer. Oh, he was asked to let huh. players in the league go hard. He said, quote, I'll keep it real simple. No, Excellent not everyone plays thing. hard. That's why it's a skill. That's why it stands out. It's all about will. Mine is stronger than most. Guys, hard to doubt him. I don't either, Allie. No. Thanks a lot. Good stuff. And the Lakers have possession, following the score by the Clippers. Lock them up. Six on the shot clock. 
Marcus first shot attempt. Yeah, good luck with that shot, on the shot. The Clippers have got two of three shots to go in the second. Williams passes to Morris. And here's George. Here we go. 17 foot shot on the way. And yeah, it's good. And now a 12 point double. Clipper lead. There's a rhythm with yeah, which Paul George plays there. the game of basketball. That pace is so important. Outside Schroeder. He takes no. it in. No. Yeah. Yeah. Now Williams. Seven points in the game. Pass to Zubac. Here's Leonard. This Back to Zubac. Morris with Holy it. Ball. George, right side. 13 feet out. The Lakers for the rebound. I thought he was going to get this. The, he was so he close. I didn't think he was going to get the meter. I thought he was just going to go the the defenders Should I give him the shot? Caldwell Pope's shot is off. Oh. The Clippers have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. We go. We go. We go. Williams against Schroeder. Oh. No idea why he's attempting so many outside shots. That was shots. a Chris Angel magnet. He needs to either look to drive or get it to an open teammate. It's Kuzma with the miss. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset that. with that one. Crazy. Well, you get the sense in this league that there are some star players sure who enjoy and embrace the spotlight. I know. But Kawhi I know. Leonard, you don't get the sense fame is right, his goal. Seasons. This guy's out there trying to be the absolute on, best he can yeah. be Guard, and yeah, you maximize you his basketball abilities. You got it. Now here's Morris. You got it. Makes the most of the high percentage shot. Morris has got his first bucket in this one. Well, that's just stellar concentration from the talented forward. Marcus Morris stellar effective at keeping his balance on these tough, tough finishes. It's like you're just in the, like, oh. They gotta work on the drink in the theater. There's a gap between his hand and the bottle. It's like a floating bottle. Look, it's a floating bottle. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Gasol's checked in for Harold. Davis comes in for Kuzma. Matthews, he's checked in for Caldwell Pope. And it's Caruso in for Schroeder. Well, you know, Kawhi never seems to be worried about popularity, Doris. Just boilerplate quotes. Hey, He's not trying to be catchy. It boils down to two things for Kawhi Leonard. He wants to put in the Get work, him. and he wants to win. And while he fulfills his mediocre roles, you better be on point with your questions, because this guy suffers no fools. Here's Matthews. But no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. No way. We got Mark Gasol, new acquisition. There's a minute 47 left in the first half. Here's Get him. Matthews. Come on. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Well, Matthews not just a part of the score. So now he's trying right to right mix right it up right inside. Right. Here's Beverly. Pass to Batum. He should be three more. Right? Oh, and that one, no question. Powered it down. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. I tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. No. Now, here is James. He has six. Well, because of the physical frame so LeBron screen. James has, he's going to shoot a high percentage in the paint. What I love is how good he is at Nick. reading when he needs to get that shot off. Oh, Nick. Nick, 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 Nick. And he can see what happens. He just strives his quarter. Boy, he's I feel like he's looking, the... Looking, the you ever played Mike Tyson? He's Mike just Tyson's not getting a lot of support from that. Playing the Lakers with the Brown and the Browns. Like, Mike Tyson. He's like the big boss. Beverly outside. It's like, can you beat the big boss? The Lakers have gone just 5 of 12 here in the second quarter. 
just drives and scores every time. What? The Clippers in the lead. What was that? Three seconds. You guys already have a LeBron. You don't need to have that shot. Those shots. Pass to Ibaka. I'll see what Ibaka can do. Back to Beverly. Here's Batum. Oh, he's got, he's got the, the quicks. And Davis he got the quicks. Four on the clock. The first half, the Clippers on top, up by eight. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. Yeah, and now, up the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody, welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jets. An outstanding first quarter for Paul George. He ended up with 15 points, two rebounds, and one steal. And let us get your thoughts, big fella, on the Clippers. Listen, man, I just touched PG. I gotta get a band-aid. This boy is so sharp. Guy had to overcome injuries and play alongside new teammates every few years, but he's terrific at both ends of the floor. And Kenny, let's get your thoughts on the Lakers. Well, sometimes you get too comfortable playing at home. This team played tonight like it's so urgent. And now they dug themselves a hole, and the energy level to get out of it is going to be extraordinary. We'll see if they come out of the tunnel with some fire in the second half, because they're going to need it. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. Just tuning in. Thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. Paul George has been sensational. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. The Clippers shooting 46%, a decent Four average so Clippers. far. So, on the floor for the Clippers. The talented pair of George and Kawhi at the two and the three. Marcus Morris out there with Serge Ibaka. And it's Beverly in at the one spot. All right, Grant, for pure entertainment, who do you love to watch? Oh, that's easy right there, the Joker. Nikola Jokic. I absolutely love his game. His versatility. At times, he's a little bit unorthodox. His passing. I mean, everything about his game is fun to watch. You never know he's what's going to happen. You know what? I don't think he's going to know either. <laughs> but he's a, a joy to watch and, and a great talent in this league. That Joker. Now here's Beverly. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Two points. Got one go. This guy is such an intelligent guard. Patrick Beverly finding a driving lane and finishing. Outside shooter. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. George with the bucket. What you love about Paul George is if he understands he's got his game in rhythm, he's going to stay aggressive. Right around a minute and a half played in the third quarter. Here's James. And again, it's the Lakers. Love to see that kind of activity. He just makes things happen. Beverly, the pass to Leonard. Now here's George. And George with the chance. Well, I'll tell you this, if the defense collapses, if it makes a mistake momentarily, Beverly has the kind of basketball IQ to take advantage. The Lakers have gone three of three in the second half. You know, Grant, Pat Beverly said he's trying to be the best defender on the planet. And the way he competes, I believe it. I believe it, too. I mean, this young man from team. Chicago spent mm, five years team. fighting and scrapping overseas. Defense became his meal ticket. But even in the NBA, he's never lost that chip. The commentary is like a real game. Now here's Beverly. And a Ooh. nice finish on the layup. Beverly's got his second bucket on the night. 
very little resistance around the rim right now. Can I get three one on two? Oh, that's good. James, outside. Oh. And another three oh, for the yeah. Lakers. There is an extensive list of the things you've got to check off as a defender when you're guarding LeBron James. I'll tell you this, just the guard every spot on the seamless. floor. So How's that? Smooth. Checked in for the Lakers. Definitely coming back. Oh, we got Lou Williams back. The Clippers have gone an impressive five of five so far in the third quarter. Yeah, Luke Williams with it. Williams? Darryl picks him up. Williams passes to Ibaka. And the Can't Clippers miss again. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one it's his like favorite spot. And there's the foul. Nice it's move. on Lou Williams. That's his first foul of the game. And we've got to see that sensational Momo one block again. Momo one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, those are the Momo plays that get you a lead, lead and keep you a lead as well. Right around three minutes into this second half. No. Here's Schroeder. From down in the low post, it he goes. He's right there. Schroeder's got his third bucket of the night. They couldn't have asked for a better start to the second half. They've been perfect from the field so far. Williams from long range sinks the tray. And they just continue to sharpen their offense here in the second half. The Lakers trail. Pass to Harrell. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. And Davis gets it to go on the assist by Harold. Davis has got seven points in the game. They're having a good half offensively. Shooting 50% from the field now, trying to close the gap. Here's George, and he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. See, I don't think you can teach that. Paul George going right into contact. You love that aggressiveness. Just instinct. Must be whoever is controlling it. And he makes a first. And Grant, since the conclusion of your playing career, you've spent the better part of a decade covering the game on television. So what's been your favorite part of that aspect of your career? You know, B.A., it's been incredible. I mean, I've enjoyed every aspect of covering games. And uh, I, I think for me, it's been so close to the action, getting a chance to almost Play get real. lost in the game, feeling like you're in the game as we get a chance to watch these amazing athletes like go up and down the court. I feel like I'm at the closest thing to actually playing. I feel like I'm at the right game and I'm coaching the game. Calling the game. And great makeup, too. <laughs> Always. It's kind of like that show with Jersey from the Disney Channel. Like, no like the early 90s where like, you could be in the game. Outside, Williams. It's like EA Sports, baby. Pass to George. Here's Schroeder. Oh, you're going to let him guard him? Schroeder from long range. Pass to Harold. Pass to George. Oh, you're going to let him guard him? Schroeder from long range. Pass to Harold. Pass to George. Oh, you're going to let him guard him? Schroeder from long range. Pass to George. Oh, you're going to let him guard him? Schroeder from long range. Pass to George. Oh, you're going to let him guard him? Just an incredible concentration. Paul George is going strong inside. It doesn't matter what he's got to overcome. Yeah, that one goes. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Push around. What is there? Push around. Push around. Don't let him. Oh, what a dunk by George! Now, Paul George is an exceptional athlete and demonstrating his insane dunking skills. Get this guy in the dunk competition. Here's Caruso. Oh, 107 left to play in the third quarter here. Get out of here. 
Pass it off. Jumper, and uh, Davis gets it to go. Davis has got nine. You love that this guy doesn't get down on himself after a rough first half. Keep your composure and Ooh. keep grinding. Williams in the post. And he plays it up and in. 12 points for him. Well, the aggressive defense doesn't bother Lou Williams. They always send a ton of attention his way. Doesn't matter. Drives defense. to the hoop. No. Russo. And the layup is good off the glass. No. And here is Williams. He's got 12. Oh, he just slithers his way right by. 32 seconds left to play in the third. It's good. How about the handle of Lou it's Williams? So good. comfortable making moves off the dribble. You put him in the blender. Kuzma outside. Ship him out. Pass to Gasol. Oh, no. Help him out. Get somebody get over there. And the ball goes out of bounds. <laughs> Last touch by Gasol. <laughs> Boy, not sure what happened on that one. Just an unforced error. Choked hard. You got double team, you know it's two. <laughs> Fifteen seconds Which left in the third down. quarter. Threw off the bottom of the back there. Oh, oh. It's stolen. Oh, no. And they're on the run. Get back there. Here's Caruso. No. Basket counts. Caruso's got four points in the quarter. Just four seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as we approach the fourth. Clippers ahead. Up by seven. And coming up lead. as soon as we Let's return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. Paul George, MVP, baby. Only taking advantage of this match all game. The Clippers have to do in real life. They do that to win. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. We're playing Talk too about much. painting too a much magnificent Xbox. picture with that dive. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he I mean, he created, Paul George there. created every bit of it. There's, the pass was passed through, he was stationary, and then he created everything after that, after he received the pass. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. And so it's the Lakers with it. They trail by seven. We've got Kyle Kuzma, Contavious Caldwell no. Pope out there with Dennis Schroeder. Then it's Montrez Harrell, and it's James Giddy. in at the small forward position. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Caldwell Pope's shot is off. The Clippers shooting a terrific 58% from the LeBron front. Out. LeBron out. Beverly, the pass to Leonard. At six, so, pass to Kanar. Shoots over Shrew. He's got a quick release. Nice shot he by shoot. Kinnar. He's got a quick release. And the Clippers lead by nine. Well, Kawhi Leonard's passing skills have developed over the years, and if you give him that much attention, he'll find his teammates. To the left wing. It's James with the drive. Goes it on the wing. And right on target. That was good. James has got nine points now in the second half. Just over a Too minute into this final enough. quarter play. Not enough points to get the job done. Pass to George. Oh, are you gonna are you gonna pull the brown on him? You pull the brown. George with the chance. Well, you love the tenacity. Paul George cannot be contained when he gets near the tip. And you're short sure. outside. Yeah, we'll just leave him wide the over. They bled by as many as 14. No, no. It's stolen by James. Lakers moving it up. He launches a three. That's good from Schroeder on the assist from James. In full on catch up mode. They're raining threes right now. No. He hasn't proven to be much of a force. He had the one three, but that was back in the first half. Now here's Morris. Slow it up. Slow it up. Beverly outside. Oh, 
What do we got? Who's over Kennard there? on the wing. Oh, here's a mismatch. Six to shoot. Pass to litter. And the dunk by litter. Well, almost effortless there from Kawhi Leonard. The reach and leaping ability. Look out. It's all about finding the mismatch, baby. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Beverly against Schroeder. Oh. Beverly. Get him. Get him. But he stays with it. Kuzma outside. Offensive rebound. And Harold throws it down. If you do not box out Montrez, Harold, you are opening yourself up to offensive rebounds. This guy is a force there. Six point lead. Six point lead. Oh, he's got a camera. He's freaking helping the pump. Go Clippers! Anthony Davis, Mark he's checked in for Cruz. Really Let's go! Let's go! I wonder if he's going to make a difference next to Nicholas Platoon. Any doctor? Maybe. Some good depth. The Clippers have gone 3 of 4 in the 4th and looking confident on oh, offense. Oh, we're going to run inside. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot 2. Patrick Beverly is the kind of competitor every team wants. Gets himself here. a trip to the free sure. throw line. Patrick Beverly is the long road to the NBA and his commitment to getting there. Think about this, guys. Three different European leagues yeah, before he, he signs with the Rockets. I don't know how oh. you can't appreciate that kind of work ethic. Shows it on the court. Uh, so after making the first, he goes one for two. Uh, the Lakers goes, trail. Uh, he's got to put more, more practice time on his people. No. You really can't block him. I'm pretty sure I was going to be a block on any other player, but they were like, nope, it's a rock. The Clippers shooting about 60% for the game. Oh, I didn't know he had to lose. What a pass. Come on, boys. Earn your damn salary. Let's go to the by five. Who's in? Who's in? Oh, mismatch city. Mismatch city. What a pity. And trying to put the game away. He's been nails all evening. Nails. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's giving to them. Now, here is James. No, Nick. And it's James with the J. No, Nick. Well, it doesn't take Play much defense. for LeBron James to find his rhythm. The king right now. He's got to keep a five-point lead in the good. He's so emotional in this game. Every time LeBron does something, he just freaking, I don't know, he gets so pumped up. It'll be like the first quarter, and it'll be like the first point. He yeah, acts like it's a, like a game on it. All right, time now to present our new balance player of the game, Paul Who George. Could it be? Guy who's scoring all the points for really a has his fingerprints game all over it. Over it. He's been team. dominating and making it look effortless. It's always fun to watch someone just flat out take over like he's done here today. It's like the most meaningless game of the regular season for Paul Mary right now. That's why he's playing so good. It's like preseason. The Clippers have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. No, I'll switch. I'll switch. Beverly outside. It's a bad shot. 
So good from outside. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense. But they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Yeah. This is terrible defense. Nice speed that time. Just falling apart. Just falling apart. Just a three-point clipper lead. I'm not going to let us choke like the Clippers always do. Beverly outside. It's George on the wing. No! Goes back up. And he takes oh. it up and lays it in. George has got 16 in the second half. It's a lengthy list of skill that Paul George brings to the table every night. The offensive yeah, shoot three, is just dude. one shoot aspect three. of a terrific Get game. Here. Shots good. That is nothing you can do. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, I'm going to your most trusted guys. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots. Nice delivery there. Now here's George. Get out of here, LeBron. Puts up the eight-footer. Jump Ooh. shot is good. George has got eight points in the quarter. We are talking Give it about to the high hand. Let's go. Score in Paul George. Go to work, sir. Here's James. Money. A clutch basket there. The lead will begin into this game. He shook the whole freaking building. He shook my apartment. 58 seconds left to play in the fourth. Have gotten six and ten attempts to drop in the fourth quarter. You can't stop. Uh, you haven't switched. Has to be two. Paul George. I think you guys are going to win. <laughs> it's George. Get out To the paint. It's George on the wing. Uh -huh. Just five to shoot. Come on, go guard your man. Fades back. And falls. Now Paul George, a tremendous jump shooter, squares up, knocks it down. The defense has got to be better. Let's go. Xbox Series S. I'm off the road. Leonard's check this for the Clippers. Williams comes in for Beverly. left to play in the fourth. So a 
against the Lakers now. It's a five-point game. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go Brown through the on the detail of the crowd. Okay. It's good. It's a good game. I'm gonna get my play to the next gen you know, next gen games, but second one is good. Point. Getting both at the line. And it's an eight point ball game. And you know they're extremely disappointed right now. I mean, this one getting away from them. Well, they definitely have some things to work out, and you'd love to see them finish this game the right way. Can he hit a buzzer beater? Can he hit a buzzer beater? Williams with it. Off the mark. So it's the Clippers picking up the win. It ends up being a very easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Well, the Clippers. Why, you seem to pick it up offensively down the stretch. What changed for you? Uh, I just started to knock down shots, got my rhythm going, my teammates found me, and... Uh, uh, just well, there's there. Paul George. Helps when the shots actually go in. Shooters got to keep shooting. Thanks, Kawhi. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And now Thanks for your role coach. players, Allie, Kawhi. For Doris Burke, <laughs> Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. So long, everyone. There we go. It's Paul George. <laughs>